Last time on Nancy Drew, Shadow at Water's Edge. Hi, I have a reservation under Nancy Drew. <gasps> Do you believe me now? She does not want her here. Tell her to go, now. It's a very special portrait. It's one of the two remaining images of my mother and it was taken shortly before it's one of my grandmother's favorite portraits. So one day you'll pass this place on to your daughter? Well, I'm the younger daughter. My older sister Yumi will be the one to take over the Ryokan. Nanasi-san, please sit. Why do you want Yumi to take over the Ryokan? It is tradition. Ghosts? What ghosts? We got one of those um, haunted hotspot guides. So we get a lot of ghost hunters here. <gasps> the strange sounds from the founding, on the screaming at all hours of the night, waking up my family, scaring the children half to death. If you ask me, this real channel is to be closed down immediately. I don't believe that anything is haunted. Ghosts uh, are just what happens when guilty people let their imaginations run wild. What's this? I should hold on to this article. Who's Savannah Woodham? She was an investigator. She helped out with the investigation after Kasumi died. She was more of a paranormal investigator. Can you translate this for me? Sure. No, put this back where you got it. Can you translate this article for me? I'd be happy to, Nancy-san. Why would you give me this? Put it back where it goes, now. Where did you get this? You have no right to have this. was that? It must have just been my imagination. I should try to get some more sleep. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Mander Gander. We're getting back at it with Nancy Drew, Shadow at Water's Edge. Um, I'm hoping you guys can see me just fine, that it looks good. And everything because the um, little screen on the camera is broken so I can't tell I mean I should be like right right here in the center where I usually am oh and I got a new microphone so I had a microphone before but it broke I was using the mic on my headset uh, I got a new one uh, let's see how it works and how well it does I tested it I think, um, I think it will work, so uh, we will see after this video um, if I'm going to uh, keep it or not and see if it will work. So, fingers crossed on that. But anyway, so let's go ahead and uh, get on with the game. Alright, so in the last video, I did get ahead of myself. So, uh, this is like the next day. So hopefully I, I should be, um, I should be fine now. So what I was, what I was going to do in the end of the uh, other game when I went to the subways wasn't yet. It was going to happen. I was going to be able to go there after I woke up. <laughs> I woke up the next day. But I think we should be able to grade more papers. Let's see how they did. And, um... Depending on why, I'm not going to try to, uh, I'm probably not going to try anymore to try to, uh, pronounce, uh, the names in this game. I know, like, my sister was like, I was like, I looked at her, so, you, you, you were cringing, weren't you? And she's like, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, yeah, when I was, when I was making the game, when I was making the game, or, um, playing the game, I was like, yeah, 
I know my sister, she's gonna be, she's gonna be watching this and going, oh my gosh, that is not how you pronounce it. Uh, <laughs> so, anyway, um, so let's see here. I has three sisters. I'm sorry, that's not how you say it. Let's give a frowny face. Do you has a sister? I do has a sister, but that's not how you say it. I share my rooms. I has none pets. Mine twin is sister. No. Yeah, I just got, so I, I'm also really glad to be home. I just got back from being, uh, visiting my sister for a little over a month. Um, which I, I was definitely happy to see her be around my niece. Um, but I am definitely also glad to be home. I do miss them. Miss you guys. I miss you. Okay, anyway. Um, <laughs> but I am glad to be home. I miss my pet Chino. I miss my parents. I miss my brother. I miss my grandparents. So, yeah. So, I'm home. And you guys, I wasn't gone because I did a bunch of recordings. I had a time before I left. So, it looked like it was still in my room when the whole time... I was at my sister's, so, but yeah, I'm glad to be back. Just time for Christmas! Anyway, <laughs> do we have brothers? Do we have brothers? Well, see, are, are you, like, kind of repeating the question someone asked you? I don't know. We leave in town. I have... I have a gerbil. Alright, I am an only child. I am an only child. Does he have a sister? I don't know, does he? We live in uh, Kyoto. I have a cat. I am one brother. We're many sisters. We live in my home. Your home. You own the house? How old are you? And you own a house? What? <laughs> my bird is mine. Well, that's good if you're making a, a firm statement. I have none brothers. How many brothers have you? We live in an apartment. Yeah, yeah, I mean, if they live in an apartment, they live in an apartment. I mean, that's, that would be correct right there. Um, we have many fish. Well, I mean, if you don't want to give the specific m number because you got a lot of fish, you can say we have many fish. Uh, I mean, I guess. Oh, no, I'm not an English teacher. Not even here in America. So, like. I didn't even like English. I was just like, bro, listen. No one speaks proper English here, even if you even if you were good at... Well, more than likely, if you were good at English and passed, more than likely, you probably speak proper English, but not necessarily. Hello. Oh, hi, Nancy. What was the name of the place you're staying at again? The Ryokan Hie. Told you. Guess you're right. What are you two talking about? We met this girl at a bento booth at the expo, and she grew up at the Ryokan you're staying at. Pretty crazy coincidence. Is her name Yumi? That's the one. You've got to get down here and meet her. She's so much fun. She told us all about everyone at the Ryokan, and it sounds like you've got your hands full. I should come to meet her. I have a few questions. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what? I know that tone of voice. What tone of voice? Yep, that's the one. <laughs> what are you talking about? You're working a case, aren't you? Maybe. I don't know exactly what is going on at the Ryokan, but it's really strange. Busted. Okay, you got me. I may have found a mystery. Shocking. So, what can we do for you? Yeah, what's going on? Well, I saw something really strange in my room. What? 
A shadowy figure showed up in my room, but when I looked out on the balcony, no one was there. It was like whoever it was just disappeared. Creepy. Okay, that's it. We're leaving Japan. I'm sure there is a logical explanation. Me too. I'm just not sure what it is yet. The two of you, I swear, if we were being chased by a dinosaur, you two would be too busy debating about the fossil record to run away. Where's your sense of panic? It was pretty scary, I admit, but I don't believe that someone could just disappear. Right. Well, you said a shadow figure, right? Maybe it was some sort of trick of the light. That's what I was thinking. I'll keep an eye out for something like that. Spooky. Anything else? Have you seen the robotic cats they have here? I love those! I don't know if they're cute or creepy, creepy, but I love them anyway. Miwako has one. It's cute, but it's a little aggressive. It's in guard mode. There's a way to override that, some sort of code word. Right. I need to figure out what it is. Hmm. I bet if I check around the expo, I can find someone who knows. That would be amazing. Thanks. Anytime. Need That's anything else? late. Let's pretend I didn't do that. I should go. I'll talk to you later. Bye, Nancy. Oh, Alright, so now we can go back to where I was trying to head to in the last game to talk to Yumi. Which I know I got that correct. Okay. Hello. Sup? Oh. I tore one of the screens in my room. I'm really sorry. Do not worry, Nancy-san. This happens often. Very easy to fix, just a little steam to loosen the glue. I'll have Lentalo take care of it immediately. Great, thanks. When I tore the screen, I think I saw someone on my balcony. Right. It's nothing to worry about. The screens really distort things sometimes. I'm sure it was just your imagination. Uh, maybe you're right. It wasn't my imagination. I saw someone walking on my balcony. And then she just disappeared. It wasn't my imagination. I saw someone walking on my balcony. And then she just disappeared. You're seeing things. It is just your imagination. Are you, are you calling me a liar? I'll talk to you later. See you later. Oh, what? Uh, one too far. All right. Here for another lesson. Nancy, today I have a very important lesson. We will learn origami. Great, let's get started. Origami has been around in many forms for centuries. I think Master it'd be cool to do Yoshizawa some origami. Brought I kind of wanted art to back before it could be disappear. A couple of, like, animals there or is a grave danger, Nancy Son, in forgetting. Or she got to do the classic. If the one. whole world forgets a thing or a person, then or is it, it is gone forever. What do you mean by that? I have for you here. A selection of origami patterns, a few steps away from the last step. You must simply match the pattern to the completed design. Okay. I'm cheating. Just letting you know right off the bat, I'm looking it up. I can't, I, I don't necessarily have this memorized uh, when I look at the book. Like, it... I don't know. It, it's like, I, I swear I have it, but I don't. Like, it's like, nope, 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 you got it wrong. But this is what I'll do for you. You're more than welcome to read the book. There we go. And I will give you a moment. You can like Hello, pause the video or whatever. I'd like to try learning origami um, again. And if you would like to try to figure this out. Be my guest and let me know if you do figure it out too. Let me know down below in the comments if you figured it out without looking at anything or cheating like I'm about to.
it right here. Uh, and let me know if you, uh, got it. That one goes there. Or this one goes here. That one goes here. And, whoops. And that one goes there. This one goes here. And that one goes there. They are perfect. Absolutely perfect. I'm amazing. Like, you I have didn't many cheat or talents, nothing. I just, Nancy like, completely Song. was able to figure that out. Wow. You are a liar. I'll let you go. Come again. Come again. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, so, in my last video I mentioned uh, my favorite uh, singing group is uh, a J-pop group called Perfume. I was like, come again. Uh, it sounded familiar like one of their songs. And it was in one of their songs where they would say, come again, come again. It was their song, Dreamland. Hello. I'm pretty sure that's what they said. It sounds like, it sounds like it. It's been a, it's also been a while since I had looked up the English lyrics for the song. I think, I think that's what they said. All right. Is Suki supposed to be so protective? Took a swipe at you, huh? Oh, that's one of her mods. Don't take it personally. It's actually really clever. There are these command words you say, and then Suki changes into that mode. She'll be protective, or aloof, or silly. Really? Do you know the commands? I did. Can't remember where I put that piece of paper. No, I don't want more nonograms. I'll let you get back to work. Bye. Hello? Nancy, good news. We met Ryuichi, the creator of the Suki Cats. Thing is, he won't give away the secret phrases unless you buy one of the cats. All right, course, thanks for really trying. But then the guy told George, for such a captivating, beautiful, gorgeous girl, he'd be willing to make an exception. Ooh. You're turning red. Nancy, she's turning red. Am not. Anyway, there's a catch. He only shares secrets with the like-minded. He gave me this monster puzzle to solve, but I'm too busy with expo stuff to solve it right now. Any chance that you could take a look at it? Sure. Anything for such a captivating, beautiful... Enough! <laughs> I'll send it right over to you at the Ryokan. Uh, I should go. I'll talk to you later. Bye, Nancy. Yeah, okay. I don't... I don't want to do that. Uh, wait, I think... Okay, so I haven't done this, and I will need to do this to advance... And unfortunately, the so the puzzle that they are sending will be as well as the Sudoku puzzle. Sudoku. Yeah. So, let me do this one real quick. It, me and my mom, like, tried this for a couple of hours, and we just, we, we kept getting stuck. It's like we kept almost getting so freaking close, and then it was like, nope, no, no, you, I'm sorry, no. Like, the third puzzle he gives you, though, in this game, I finally figured it out on my own for the first time. Um, but the third puzzle, I really like. I really do like. I finally figured it out all on my own for the first time. And it was actually kind of fun. So, that one I will figure out on my own. I did it! Alrighty, there we go. You! Oh, got that neon. Alrighty. I have a delivery for you. And here yeah. this is. Thanks. I'll <sighs> talk to you later. See you later. So I go wow. from doing. George wasn't kidding. Right. This does look hard. So I go. <gasps> ah! Almost spilled a drink. I go from one Sudoku puzzle to now another one. So, I'll be back in just a moment. Ah, <laughs> oh, no. Okay. So, I accidentally messed up somewhere, even with cheating here. 
didn't get a number right somewhere else, she would have been like, that's it and everything. So, uh, give me another second. <laughs> I'll double check everything. All right, I found it. I had two nines here, two sevens here. Whoops. All right, I'm there we pretty go. good at this. Yay! All right, now we got that done. I know. I'm gonna save just to make sure, you know. All right. Um. Now let me go. In, I'm gonna go and get an envelope so I can send that off back to them right away so we can get the information that we need. I might be able to use this. Yes, thank. Because we need to get around uh, Suke so we can look at the box. Hello. Can I leave this here for my friend to pick up? Yes. Thanks. I'll stop bugging you now. See you later. All right. I believe it is now time. Let's go and meet Yume. Oh, the new May. Oh, I know my sister loves her. It has to do with the fact of being how bad the accents are in these games. In this game. Hi, is your name Yumi? Absolutely not. Who's asking? It might be. Are you going to order? What's your agenda here, stranger? I'm Nancy Drew. Mm, nope, never heard of you, but thank you for saying your name out loud. Oh, wait, Nancy Drew? As in friends with Beth and George and staying at the Ryokin, Nancy Drew? Or are there two of you? Which one is it? That's me, the friends with Bess and George. Excellent. Yes, perfect. Get over here. Come on. You're learning to make bento the Yumi way. Come on, trust me, it's a life skill. Once you know how to make a good bento box, you pretty much got the whole world all figured out. She's quite the character, too. I'm gonna say, sure, sounds great. Or, it sounds good, because I actually really like doing these. These are fun to Sure, do sounds good. Fantastic. Here are the ingredients. You may notice that they run the gamut from pretty cute to insanely adorable. This is not an accident. Okay, very easy. The customers will give you a list of what they want and how they want it organized, and you pack it together. You won't believe how easy it is. Okay, I gotta go. Going? Where are you going? The store. Good luck. You'll do fine. I'll be back soon. Wait. I guess I'd better get to work. So my thought has always been, why is she leaving in the middle of her shift to go shopping and leaving a complete stranger to do this? Unless she owns this, uh, this bento, uh, little restaurant, then okay. Okay, whatever. Uh, that's her choice, but if she's just an employee there, like, girl... But anyway, so, something when I first would play this game... Uh, when I first played this game, I didn't fully understand that I, like, you know, took me a moment and then I was like, oh yeah! And I noticed a lot of people who have played with me didn't understand that, and then I had to show them and tell them, and they're like, oh, okay, makes sense. So basically, like, this will fit the entire, over the entire box. But you have these two labels here, on which will overlap, but you have to figure out where exactly they go. So, you know, it's kind of like that. But you'll see. So, like, we got the um, bunny rice, so that will go here for sure. The cat egg, so that will go here for sure. And the cat rice, that will go there for sure. So now we've got empty spaces here. We got the cat here, bunny there don't know what kind it is and then we've got a sandwich here egg here we don't know what animal that is we got a cat don't know what food it is yada 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 so let's do this so this is a bunny here and there's a bunny for this one so let's say this these three will line up right here so therefore I will put the bunny sandwich here and then a bear one will go here but that's what we're gonna have to figure out Um, let me see here.
Okay, this one could go one or two ways. Of like, lining this up. But let's... Okay, so there's only one more cat, so we'll go ahead and put that there. There's only one more bunny, so we'll put that there. So this one will probably go over here. So it'd be right here. So there's only one sandwich left. There's only one egg left. And then there's one bear left for right here. Hey, I did it. Yeah. It was pretty cute. Thanks for helping out, Nancy. Could you tell me a little bit about the Ryukon? I'm not into that sort of thing. Couldn't you find a pamphlet? I was hoping for an insider's opinion. Oh, I get it. You want the dirt on the situation, right? Yes, exactly. Interesting. You're working some kind of anger here, aren't you? Not that it matters. Still way too busy to talk. I know you're busy, but I helped you out with Bento, and all I want is a little information. Okay. Surrounded by breathtaking views you'll not soon forget, the Ryoka Hie opens the door to a simpler time. Perfect for the business traveler hoping to experience traditional Japan, or the family in search of that perfect vacation. Ryokin Hie, discover Japan, discover you. That's persuasive, but not exactly what I wanted to know. Isn't it? That's mine from years back. I was thinking of going into advertising, but then I thought, nah. I was hoping you could tell me a little about some of the strange things that have been happening. Aha! If you really want to know. Oh no! I'm running out of bento boxes! Can you please go grab my backup stock from my apartment? This is the sort of thing that can move us from buddies to straight up besties. But she really is, um, manipulative and controlling and bossy. But, so she'll talk to us, we'll say sure. Sure. Great. It's just over by the Kurume station. I could tell right away that we were going to be friends. Here's my key. Oh, and P.S. My number is 075 -021 -5855. Your grandmother seems a little hesitant to talk to me. That's the shocker of the decade. She's hesitant to talk to herself. <laughs> what do you think of Rentaro? Other than that he should get a job at the nerd statue factory as their primary model? He's a good time. What do you think of Rentaro? Uh, he seems nice. There's something a little weird about him. Honestly, it's kind of like a little bit of both. Like, he seems nice, but same time... There is something a little weird about him. Like, what do you think? Do you think he just seems nice? Do you think there's seems a little weird? Or do you agree and it's like a little mixture of both? Um, he seems nice. He's a bit of a pest. Nice works if you want to be polite. But come on, this isn't the Ryokan. You can say what you mean. Uh, that is what I meant. Okay, there is something a little weird about him. Okay, now we'll say Okay, there is something a little weird about him. Yeah, that weird thing about him is his personality. That kid is his own special kind of neurotic. Huh, always has been. But he's my fake little brother, so I'm used to it. Until someone brings it up, I forget how he must seem when you first meet him. What do you mean by fake little brother? He first moved in next door when I was seven and Miwako was five. He followed us around day and night. One day, when he was being a real pain to Miwako, she just snapped and punched him, hard. It was bad news. My mother saw. After that, we had to be nice to him no matter what, at least when she was in sight. Eventually, he grew on us, especially Miwako. Mm -hmm. What does Takai think of you working here? It's a phase, Auto snap out of it, like I've been hypnotized and one day someone says the right word and snaps their fingers and Auto go, Hero, I am Yumi, one job running Ryokan please. She's old school like that. Thinks the fun parts of life are a phase, and the nasty parts are the bees and knees. <laughs> bees and knees. I met your sister, Miwako. You two seem pretty close. That doesn't sound like the impression you'd get by having a chat with Miwako. What are you trying to ask? Miwako seemed a little upset about the Ryokan. Do you know anything about that? That's more her area of expertise. I've never been the go-to girl for the Ryoka. That place is the definition of repetitive. Guests come in, guests come out. It's brain-breakingly tedious. I don't know how Miwako puts up with it. Can you translate this article for me? Okay. How did you get this? You know what? I don't even want to know. 
Just go put it back. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and get the uh, bento boxes from her apartment. Uh, let's see here. She lives, it was right here. So let's go ahead and put the station. And it was there. Go here. Go here. Then go here. And then go there. And we are here! We have pets. What's up? Talk about a filtered selfie or whatever. What not. Got like stickers all over it. So it looks like they're hanging. Bess and uh, Yumi are hanging out. Or George. That's, I'm sorry. That's George. That's not Bess. That's George. But more than likely, I'll with us too. These must be what Yumi was talking about. I love how she says it. She kind of sounds, I don't know, dumb. I don't know why. It's I just like, um, well, dull. Unveiling ghosts. Paranormal investigation from around the world. Savannah Woodham. So this is her first book, and this is where we first uh, find out about her. To the no, I'm gonna try to the family. Your hospitality during this time, this difficult time, has been immeasurable. Thank you for allowing me into your home and your lives. If you ever find yourself uh, selves in the state of Georgia. Okay, so she's from Georgia. Uh, I was trying to remember where she was from. You've got a place to stay. Sincerely, uh, Savannah H. Woodham. Savannah Woodham. That's the author of this book. I should hang on to this. Having her phone number might come in handy. All right, introduction, a month in a haunted, in the haunted steps, uh, riding through Phantom Pass, the breathing mansion in Brook, uh, Booker, sorry, not Brook. <laughs> uh, so the Ryokan would- It looks uh, like someone tore out one of the chapters. Yep. And we'll need a password. It's this. Make your own shadow puppets. So if you'd like to read this, um, you can. I don't remember how important it is to... It might be a little... I don't know. I, I don't remember how important it is. Like I said, there's some things that are fun informational stuff and some things that are just uh, that are important to the game. What was Hello. that? Or, I'm sorry, I didn't ask her enough. <gasps> anyway. Anywho. We got a letter. As usual, these letters are piling up and I haven't made it to the post office. It was great seeing you during your visit. Hurry back soon. I know I promised to make my way over to the States. But life always has another pl has other plans. The girls are keeping me busy, and the Ryokan is double booked as usual. Yumi wanted me to tell you that she had a nice time during your visit, although it would be hard to tell with the pouting for the cheap seats the whole time. She and Miwak Miwaku. Nancy, good news! 
What's that? We got the word to calm Suki down. It's Mate. Mate. Okay. Got it. Thanks. Mate. Suki. Mate. How's Kyoto? It's the best. Yumi's been showing me some of the coolest parts of town. The fashion here is crazy. Yumi took me to a store. I don't even know how to describe this place. It was pink. Really, really pink. It had the pink version of everything you could imagine. I'm not surprised. Neither was I, but I was a little horrified. But then headache. she took us to see the Gaion district. So cool. She was a little grumpy that we wanted to see some traditional plays, but I think she had fun anyway. Don't get me wrong. I, I don't mind pink. It's just, if it's like, just all pinks, I'd probably get a headache. I found a strange book about ghosts in Yumi's apartment with a note from the author. What do you mean? It had a dedication from the author, Savannah Woodham, to the Shimizu family. But the really weird thing is, there's a chapter missing. What was in the missing chapter? Oh, nope, strike that. That is a dumb question. That's pretty strange. Maybe you can find another copy of the book somewhere. There's a business card with the author's number inside. But more importantly, the table of contents says the missing chapter was about the Ryukon. Weird. Did you call? You've got to call. Agreed! Did you learn any more Suki commands? Oh yeah, get a piece of paper, I've got a bunch. Tate, that means stand. Omori, not sure what that one is. And we've got Buruwa, that means something. Oh, and Shizukani. I think that's it. Cool. I'll stop bugging you now. Bye, Nancy! Alright, stop bugging you. They bugged me first, and I was in the middle of reading. <laughs> anyway. She and the walk the walk me walk Forgive me. I uh, have been at each other's throats lately. It's ugly. I hope it's a phase, but I'm beginning to worry that it might not be. Uh, Casey and Ben are such good friends. I wish I knew your secret. They're so different, you know? They remind me of you and me when we were kids. You were always so serious, and I was always doing my best to get you in trouble. I think that's what made us such good friends. But for the two of them, it's always a battle. Enough of that. Send me love to the fire. Send my love to the family. I can't wait to see you again. Kasumi. So that was a letter from Kasumi. To a friend of theirs from the States. Yeah. Rob, that is locked. Alright. Let's go back and talk to Yumi some more. Let me double check which one it is. This one. Ask her about that book, Savannah, and give her those boxes, uh, bento boxes, uh, that she asked for. Nancy! And you've got my boxes. Neat! Here, I've got a thing for you. It's a phone charm. You can't not have one. He's cute. Thanks. What's it do? Come to think of it, it doesn't really do anything. Get a job, phone charm. It probably won't. That's okay, just hang it on your phone. I've got tons. Help me with bento, and I'll hook you up with some super cute ones. I watched that DVD at your place. It was very strange. You did what? Shouldn't I have? Oh no, I'm sorry, Yumi. I'm sure it'll be fine. Just be very cautious. What do you mean? You have to be cautious about everything here, Nancy. Your outfit is very... interesting. <laughs> Where did you get it? Get it? Oh, you cannot get something this cool in a store. I made it. You make your own clothes? Yeah, I got sick of waiting for the boutiques to catch up to me. The places I go around here, fashion is the business. You don't show up looking out of date. Oh, I've got the best thing. She does you gotta have good. it. I use it to come up with all of my new ideas. Oh, what's that? It's a program for your phone. You upload pictures to the computer and send them to your phone. It lets you test out a new look on you or your friends. It's back at my place on the computer. Sounds great. I don't usually have time to keep up with the latest fashion trends. I could sort of tell, but I wasn't sure if you were going for an irony thing with your outfit. Hey! Just teasing. You pull off the old school thing Nancy drew. Some things don't go out of style. 
If you help me out with a little more bento right now, I'll hook you up with the program. Bento. Come on. Here we go. I love doing this. Let's take that. Wait, no, 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 Great job! Here you go, Nancy. Thank you. Let's see. Love that last picture you sent. Thanks. Why do you have a book on shadow puppets? Oh, that's Miwako's. It shouldn't be in my apartment. It's just a stupid book about puppets. Okay. It's just another one of the things that my grandmother is trying so to auto Maybe push it is on important us. to the story. So could you use something like this to make spooky it. shadows from far away? Say a balcony. Yeah, I guess. Does Miwako like working at the Ryokan? What a yeah! Why else would she be there day in and day out? What that Gura needs is to spend some time out here. A few weeks with me and my friends would be enough to shake her up and get her to have some fun for once. So you don't want to take over the Ryokan? Not even for a second. I mean, I don't even get the whole tradition thing. You want to go to the past? Get a time machine. I'm not one for living in the past. Have you ever read a history book? The past is where we keep all of the terrible things that have happened. I don't understand. If you're the one who's supposed to take over the Ryokan, why is Miwako the one working there? Ugh, Nancy-chan. Don't get all everyone else on me here. If I had known I was supposed to run that place when I grew up, I would have taken a pass on the whole firstborn thing. Trust me. If Miwako left the Ryokan, who would run it? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Why do you care so much about it anyway? I'm just sort of naturally curious. I'd back burner that curiosity as long as you're staying at the Ryokan if I were you. What do you mean? Try not to find out, okay, Nancy? You seem nice. What's going on? Oh, yay. Okay, good. Can you tell me a little bit about what happened with your mother? This is not the time or the place. Is there a better time? Maybe when you're not at work? <sighs> There is never going to be a time or place. Just drop it. I should get back to work. I'm gonna finish. I'm not gonna talk to you, woman. Jeez. Because I just keep saying the wrong thing. Alright, let's go ahead and go back to the Ryokan. So we finally met Yumi. And we got another text. Hello, who are you? I like barely see teeth right here. Some angry teeth. All right. Print that, plaster that on my wall. Hi. Do you want to manage the Ryokan? Right now I have to, but it's not that simple. Why not? It just isn't. Hi. From what I understand, the Ryokan has quite the reputation for being haunted. It is true that we have the reputation. Has that been difficult for business? It is nothing you need to concern yourself over. Can you think of anyone who would stand to gain if the Ryokan went out of business? No one I know. We all depend upon the Ryokan. Even Yumi and Lentaro. What about someone else on the outside? No. There's no one else. How does your grandmother feel about the Ryokan? It's her whole world. She loves it more than anything or anyone she's ever met. What does she think of Yumi not working here? It's a very sore subject for her. And honestly, I've heard too much about it already. What do you mean? Every day I'm here, making sure all is well, it would just be nice to hear her at least mention all of the work I do. Just once. I'm sorry this is nothing you want to hear about. 
Do you think Yumi is ever going to come back here to run the Ryokan? If she knows what's good for her. She knows what's good for her, and it's not running the Ryokan. Why doesn't Yumi work here at the Ryokan? She's very... My mother used to call her a free spirit. But that's a nice way of saying that Yumi's selfish and doesn't want to help. Do you and Yumi get along? No. It, like, it's always kind of frustrating me in this game. Like, they just won't leave Yumi alone. But at the same time, I have to remember uh, this is a different culture. So, you know, it, it, it's just different for them. Like, like I said, they're very, they're very much on tradition. And to them, that is what's good for you, is keeping up the tradition. So, I'm like, okay, don't get mad. Don't get mad. Like, yes, Yumi wants that. But you also can't get too upset. Because, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. But, yeah, no. But I'm with Yumi. Yumi's like, leave me alone. I'm with Yumi. Just let her be. And let her take over. Because you know that's what she wants, too. How long have you been fighting? I'm not sure, but she probably picked a fight with me the day I was born. Did you and Yumi ever get along? Of course, but really. She really... She was a very good big sister to have after... what happened with our mother. But soon enough, she was back to being the selfish, manipulated brat she is today. Okay, hold on. I'll be, I'll be right back. One second. Bobby, hi. Come here. Come here. You want to say hi to the viewer? <gasps> say hi, Bobby. This guy's back turn. Hold on. <laughs> this is my <gasps> guinea pig, Chino. Please say hi, Chino. Love him. He's so adorable. He's three years old. A little over three years old. I've had him for a little uh, over three years. He's my fluff butt. <laughs> Chino. And his name is Chino. Obviously short for Cappuccino. He's my person. Yeah. He's my gaming gu guinea pig. He's my gaming partner. You want to play some more? Do you want to finish playing with us? In this video? Or do you want to go back and run around? You're just running around playing. Careful, Bobby. <laughs> you say hi to the viewers? <gasps> hi! Hi! Okay, I'll let, I'll let you get back to playing. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, that was my, that was my baby Chino. I don't think I've showed him. Oh, on the camera before. I love him. He's my sweetheart. She does seem a little demanding. Not demanding. Manipulative and bratty. Trust me, I've thought this one through. <laughs> I'll let you go. Okay, see ya. Saw ya. Alright, let's go ahead and call Savannah. Talk to her. Savannah Woodham's office. Logan speaking. Can I speak to Savannah Woodham, please? Are you one of our interviews? Interviews? I'm Savannah Woodham's assistant. Is she interviewing you about the expo? No, I actually want to speak to Savannah about a book she wrote. Oh, great! I'm so glad you called. Really? Why is that? It's been like three days since I've gotten to hang up on anyone. I wonder if I'm still good at it. Okay. <laughs> Logan speaking. Did you just hang up on me? Oh, absolutely. Between you and me, it was awesome. In fact... Not rude at all. <laughs> uh, so we gotta get around Logan. I don't know how to do that. It's called Hi. Bess. That's called Bess. I called Savannah, but she's got a really protective assistant. Yeah? 
Apparently, she's in Kyoto now, covering the expo for some tech magazine, so she's pretty busy. If I could get past her assistant, I could finally figure out what this whole book is about. Wait, so this guy is at the expo? Pretty sure. Then we've got this one. We do? Yep. We're going to find them, and you're going to flirt up a distraction. Mm -hmm. I am? Yep. Yes, you are. Well, at the very least, this will be interesting. And if it's a mortifying failure or anything, which it might be, we do live thousands of miles away. Solid point. We'll keep you updated. I'm not getting very far with Miwako. What do you mean? She never seems to answer my questions directly. That's never a good sign. I'd keep an eye on her. She could just be quiet, or she could be hiding something. What do you guys think of Yumi? She's so much fun. A little pushy sometimes, but I feel like I've known her for years and we've just met. She seems to really dislike the Ryokan. Do you think she'd want to see it closed down? Well, I can't say for sure. She does really seem to resent that place, but I'm not sure if she'd go as far as trying to get it shut down. I don't know. I'll stop bugging you now. Talk to you later. Talk to you later. Alrighty. Let's see. Let's check off some things, shall we? What was that? Okay, so the visit the bathrooms That's done. because the day before was for men only and it's the next day so we should be able to go into the bathroom did now. that still have to do that haven't done that so let's go ahead oops, wrong one. and go and check out the bathrooms maybe take a nice bath and hot bath and take a nice uh dump Still gives me the chills when it moves. <laughs> Hello! Like, I knew that was gonna happen, it just still gives me the chills. Oh, jeez. Alrighty. Fun. Fun, fun, fun. Let's see here. This looks important. I should figure out where I can use it. Um, let's see. Haunts Tours. When on the search for ghosts, you, uh, you'll you want to make sure you don't call in any additional back bad luck. Here are 13 Japanese uh, superstitions to be aware of. The number four is pronounced uh, she the same as the word for death and it is considered very unlucky as a result many hotels do not have a room number four or fourth floor huh okay interesting okay so i think this might be just fun factual stuff um if you would like to read it I'm kind of interested, but at the same time, I don't feel like taking the time to read it right now. Following trophy. Let's go to the baths. Oh, it looks inviting. Ah. Mm-hmm. Ah. It looks like something is missing here. So we gotta look for that piece. All right. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here today. Um, if you enjoyed this video, give this video one big thumbs up. And this video I actually might post as an extra video this week 
I am actually thinking about go ahead and maybe uh, start posting two videos a week. Um, I'll probably post this one on Friday maybe, don't quote me on that. Um, I might make Friday my second uh, day of the week where I post a video, but I'm not 100% sure yet. I'm still kind of thinking of that, but I will let you know um, what day I will start posting a second video. Um, I'll probably make it uh, make that really official actually in January. Um, but yeah, uh, if you are new to the channel, welcome to Mandergander, and I encourage you to subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell down below so you do not miss any more videos like this one. And I will see you all in the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye! <laughs>